attention. That Sir Anthony Denny, Sir Thomas Lovell, Griffith, and others have as yet received no invitation. Henry! Did the music cease? God, I could, Henry. Amen, but you cannot, because our marriage is accursed in heaven and hell, madam. I, too, gave evidence that my marriage to Arthur was never consummated. Did I lie to the Pope all these years ago? Did I lie to God? Did I lie to you, Hal? I will live and I will die your wife and your queen. I am betrothed to Prince Henry. My mother wished the marriage to take place. I would rather die than go back to Spain unmarried. My lord, I beg of you to spare me this call. But if you will not, I appeal my case to God. <laughs> Two boys that cannot live out a month. You have any loss for me. Princes do not marry for love, my lady, but to beget children. Then give me a healthy child. is descended from great kings, wrote Sir Thomas More, and she will be the mother of... And when ye had me at the first, I take God to be my judge. I was a true maid without touch of man. And whether this be true or no... If His Majesty is referring to me, perhaps he has forgotten. I have carried six of his children. Five of which were born dead, and one is a daughter, which is of no use to me. That is not my fault. Well, whose fault is it then? I am capable of having sons. That you are capable of sowing bastards up and down the country. That's well known. And why, madam, ask yourself that? Who is it that you want instead of me? Is it her? The horrible then? Who is of no importance? What matters is that, is that I am given a son. You'd put me, your queen, a sight for a whore? I need your answer, yes or no. No. Then I order it. And I refuse. I am the king of England. I can have what I want. Even a king cannot break apart what God has put together. Why won't you do this? For your good and the good of the country. I want to save you both from her. Grace scholar that votes for you. I could find a thousand who would vote for me. Sir. I beseech you, for all the love that has been between us, let me have justice and right. Give me some pity and compassion, for I am a poor woman and a stranger born out of your dominion. I have no friend here and little counsel. I flee to you as head of justice in this realm. I call God and all the world to witness that I have been to you a true, humble and obedient wife, ever comfortable to your will and pleasure. I have loved all those whom you have loved for your sake, whether or not I had cause, whether they be my friends or enemies. By me, you have had many children although it has pleased God to call them from this world. But when you had me at first, I take God as my judge. I was a true maid without touch of man. And whether or not it be true, I put it to your conscience. Bravo. 
a nightingale. Welcome at court. You want me to lie before God and admit my first marriage was consummated? Well, it was not. You want me to retire and give up my daughter's claim as sole rightful heir to the throne? Well, I shall not. Not in a thousand years. Not if you rack me to within an inch of my life. I am Catherine, Queen of England. The King's one true wife and mother of the heir to the throne. Beloved of the people and beloved of a king, you have bewitched. I put to your conscience. I expected this. But I didn't expect he would send a man like you to tell me. Welcome. We called you here because the whole of England must know this. I am reborn. I am English. God save King Henry. God save the King. 